This is part 23 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to append and prepend elements. To append elements, we have append or append to, and to prepend elements, we have prepend or prepend to. Since all of these methods modify the DOM, they belong to DOM manipulation category. Let's understand these methods one by one with examples. Look at the HTML here. We've got three div elements. And look at this line of jQuery code. Look at the selector dollar dev. So what is this selector going to do? It's going to return us all these three div elements. And on that jQuery collection object, we're calling the append method. And look at what we are passing as a parameter to the append method. We're passing an HTML structure as a parameter. So this append method is going to append that content to each of the div elements that this selector is going to return. So when we execute this line of code on this HTML, this is what is the HTML we get back. So look at that, we have the div element, and to that, we have the content that we have passed as a parameter to the append method, you know, is appended. And that happens for each div element. So let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we've got those three div elements. And if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like. jQuery, C Sharp, ASP.NET, you know, the three div elements are displayed. Now let's say we want to append the word tutorial to all these three div elements. And to do that, first we need to find the div elements. So dollar div, that's going to give us all the div elements. And to that, we are going to append the word tutorial. Okay, so basically the bold element with this word tutorial will be appended to each of the div elements because that's what this selector is going to return. All right, so let's save the changes and when we view the page in the browser, look at that. The word tutorial is appended to all the div elements and let's launch the developer tools and if you look at the DOM elements here, look at that to the div element, this word tutorial is appended and it happens for all the three developments. So that's the purpose of append method. Then what's the use of append to method? Append to method also perform the same task. If they perform the same task, then what's the difference between these two methods? The main difference between these two methods is in the syntax. With append method, notice that we first specify the target elements to which we want to append something, and then we specify the content that we want to append. Whereas with append to, we first specify the content that we want to append and then the target elements to which we want to append. So that's the only difference between these two methods. So let's look at append to method. So with the append to method, we first specify the content that we want to append. So the content that we want to append is this. And then we call the append to method. And then we specify the target elements. So the target elements are all the div elements. So dollar div. So let's save the changes and when we reload, look at that, the output is exactly the same thing. Now let's look at prepending elements. To prepend elements, we can either use prepend or prepend to. So now what we want to do is we want to prepend this word tutorial to each of the div element. So we want to find all the div elements and then we are going to call prepend method and we want to prepend a bold element with word tutorial. Okay. So since we are going to prepend this, let's give a space right here. Okay, so it'll be tutorial jQuery, tutorial C Sharp, and tutorial ASP.NET with a space in between. So let's save the changes, and when we reload this page, look at what we get. You know, tutorial jQuery, tutorial C Sharp, and tutorial ASP.NET. And if you look at the div elements in the DOM, notice that the bold element with word tutorial is prepended to each of the developments. And we can also do the same thing using prepend2. Again, just like append and append2, with prepend2, we first specify the content that we want to prepend, and then 
So you, we have to use this dollar here, otherwise we wouldn't get the jQuery IntelliSense. So prepend to, and we want to prepend to all developments. So dollar dev. So with prepend to, we specify the content first, and then the target elements to which we want to prepend. So let's save the changes, and when we reload, you know we should have the same output. So what's the difference between prepend and append method? You should have already realized the difference. You know it's very straightforward. Prepend method inserts the specified content to the beginning of each element in the set of matched elements, whereas append method inserts the specified content to the end of each element in the set of matched elements. Now let's see how to append existing elements on the page. Okay, so you know all these methods append, append to, prepend, and prepend to. They can select an element on the page and insert it into another. Okay, so if you look at the HTML here, along with the three div elements, we also have a span element, and the span element has got an ID, my span, and the span element contains this text programming with a single space in front. Okay, and look at the jQuery selector we have here dollar div so this is going to find all these developments and then on that we're calling append method and look at what we are passing as a parameter now we are passing an existing element as a parameter so here we are using the id selector dollar you know id selector is this hash symbol so find element by id that is my span and we want to append that span to each of the div elements so when we execute this code on this, it's going to append that span element to each of the div elements. And this is what will be the HTML that will be produced. So let's look at this in action. So we've got all the three div elements there. So let's include a span element. And let's give it an ID. Let's call that, you know, my span. And we are going to have this word programming with a single space in, bit, uh, in front of that word. And within our jQuery ready function, so we want to find all the div elements. And let's use append method. So we want to append this span element to all these div elements. So append, now this is an existing element, so we are going to use the ID of this element. So dollar and the ID select in jQuery is hash. So find element by ID and the ID that we are looking for is my span and then append that element to each of the element that the selector is going to return. That's what this basically does. So let's save the changes and when we reload, look at what we are going to get. jQuery programming, C sharp programming, ASP.NET programming and if you look at these elements in the DOM, look at that we have got the div element and to each of the div element this span element is appended. Thank you for listening and have a great day.